every family has a special recipe passed down from generation to generation, and nobody makes it quite like Mama. I'm coming for her. I'm coming to take her title. Today, one challenger is cooking a cherished family recipe to see how their version stacks up against the original. And the judges are their closest family members and friends who know better than anyone why Mama's is so good. She got it from her mama. Goodness, we're gonna be here we're all day be, with the garlic. Gonna, how are we messing up the first five minutes of the doggone thing? Get to Kane. Oh, gosh. He's gonna burn them. Can these contestants pull it off? Or will mama's beloved dish reign supreme? She opened it. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is Not Like Mama. Today on Not Like Mama, we are cooking up some mac and cheese. Terrell, you know hosting this show with you has been a, such a pleasure, but we must reveal that the first time we met, we actually cooked together. Do you remember Ooh. the classic and fantastic dish we made? Of course I remember. How could I forget? It's mac and cheese. Yes, that's right. You know, it bonded us then, just like it has bonded countless other friends and families before, including the Pratts. Let's be clear. Yes, anybody can't bring the macaroni and cheese to the cookout, to the holiday, if it ain't cooked right. If you're cooking the macaroni and cheese, you have to do it a certain way. Mama Italy is pretty much world famous at this point for her take on mac and cheese, even though she shockingly admits it's not that hard. I actually <laughs> stole my recipe from my ex-husband. It was his mom's. I'm glad that everyone loves my macaroni and cheese, but it's just noodles and cheese. Well, if that's the case, why on earth doesn't anyone in the Pratt family believe that her beloved and brilliant daughter, Kiana, can pull it off? Kiana don't cook. Like, Kiana just don't cook. Like, she just don't cook. After living with both of them for so long, I just think there's no way that my sister can make better mac and cheese than my mom. That just sounds crazy. As simple as it may seem, there's only one ingredient that cannot be replicated or duplicated, mm. only originated. And that is love. Mm. And Kiana's got plenty to bring into the kitchen today. Everyone in my family thinks my mom is going to win. I'm not too hurt about it just because it <laughs> is, you know, you can't beat the queen's recipe. She cooks it with so much love and it tastes even better. Does Kiana have what it takes to prove the disbelievers wrong? Let's get into the kitchen and find out. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen, guys. Now, Mom, we're gonna taste your mac and cheese a little bit later, but first, we're gonna start off with yours, Kiana. Yeah. I mean, it looks like we have some hot water going right now. Yes, yes. Boy. It's boiling. <laughs> um, so a little birdie told me mm -hmm. that no one, and when I say no one, believes yeah. that you can pull this off mm -hmm. and make the mac and cheese like your mama. Yeah. Is that true? I don't think you can pull out macaroni and cheese, period. <laughs> How do you feel about that, that, that nobody believes in you? <laughs> <laughs> There wasn't a lot of confidence. I know. <laughs> you know That's <laughs> terrible, especially coming from family. I know. It is a bit disappointing, you know. But what I will say, I'm not the main cook in the family. Obviously, okay. that goes to my mother. Hey, listen. <laughs> if nobody believes in you, I'm going to tell you that Terrell and myself, we believe in you. We believe. And you can do Thank this. You. Thank you. Auntie, I know. Hold on. What? We, we believe, but <laughs> mac and cheese, as we all know, is the one dish. You you can't mess up at the family function. That is true. So, that Mom. That is very yeah. true. I'm going to go ahead and take you on out of here and go right. to the observation room right. so we can let Kiana get to cooking, OK? That's she needs all the time yes. we can give her. So, Mom, come That's follow me. Mom. Kiana's talking about she's not the main cook in the family. Kiana's not a cook in the family <laughs> at all. <Really? laughs> the queen has entered the room. Let's see. Let's see if she can do this. Let's see. All right, so you ready to get this party started? I'm excited. What is the first step? So we actually are gonna spend a lot of time grating the cheese today. Okay. We have lots of cheese to cut up. Lots of yes. cheese. You gotta to have grate. cheese with the macaroni and cheese. Of course. <laughs> now you only have 90 minutes, okay? okay. You got this? I got it. That's All right, easy. let's go. Good luck. Get it. Bye. Thank you. I look here, I kinda look like she got her own cooking show. <laughs> Let the game begin. <laughs> okay, so first we're gonna wanna turn on the oven to 350. 
And then I'm going to head over here and grab the cheese so we can start grating all of this cheese. I know my wife. Kiana's gonna grate that all of that cheese and put every single bit of it in the thing. I'm not too concerned about the time for grating this cheese. This is a lot of cheese. So we have some Kobe Jack, we have some creamy cheddar cheese, we have Munster, which is very special. This is my mom's secret recipe. <laughs> you, you just told the whole world. <laughs> we have some mozzarella here, which is gonna help kind of keep the cheese together. And then we have your traditional cheddar cheese. So I'm going to grab the grater, grab my mixing bowl, and let's start with the classic traditional cheddar cheese. You gotta put the noodles on, baby. Oh yeah. Hot Kiana, the noodles. Girl, you can't have how are we messing up the first five minutes of the doggone thing? You have to start with what's going to take the longest. Right now, what's going to take the longest is going to be those noodles. And you're going to want to make sure you shred the whole block of cheese, but this particular one, because you can never have too much cheese. I agree, baby. No, that's right. She got that's that from me. You can't have too much cheese. No yes, you can. Thing. Not to me. Yes, Not to me. Now here's the hard part when it gets down well, to the bottom. Let it go. You don't need it. Let it go. You, you don't, need like, every you, piece of cheese. You don't cheese. need every piece of cheese. <laughs> it's like, what do you do with this little piece? Let it go. <laughs> I think my husband is in the back. Like, if she does not, if she did not hurry up and shred the cheese. <laughs> no, your husband is saying put on the noodles. So I'm gonna add in this chicken bouillon seasoning. And again, this is gonna help to add flavor to the noodles. That is not my recipe. Let it be known. Y'all doing too much. Don't nobody want no chicken broth and no macaroni and cheese. It's for the flavor of the noodles. Okay. Then you're gonna wanna watch it come to a boil. You're gonna cook it al dente, so about 10 to like 15 minutes. You don't want it to be um, overcooked because you're gonna continue to cook it while it's in the oven. So we're just gonna cook it for like 10 minutes or so. Stir it, stir it. Don't let it stick. Don't let it stick. Not, oh my God! Stir it! That's gonna be one big old block of noodles. <laughs> it is very easy to overcook these noodles, and I actually have done it recently. Um, you definitely have to keep a good eye on it, and you want to make sure you stay in the kitchen as well to watch them. <laughs> you heard tell baby to stir them noodles? Baby, you ain't about to have no noodles. I uh, know. Oh, Kiana, stir the noodles. Remember. Feel it. Stir the noodles. Remember. Feel it. Stir the noodles, Remember. feel it. Stir the noodles, Remember. feel it. Baby, you ain't about to have no noodles. And also, before I forget, I'm gonna wanna stir these noodles. Hey! hey, hey, hey. So that Come on, stir the noodles. Come on. That's it, <laughs> stir the noodles. And it's like, hey, look, she see it's chunking. Look at her, look at her. Look at her. <laughs> People just traditionally do the traditional cheddar, the Girl, traditional Kobe Jack. You've been treading this yes, cheese for 20 you. minutes. Yes, thank you, here. some help. <laughs> I need Cut off this velvet yes. while I shred this cheese. <laughs> cheese. Thank you. We're going to be here all day. Now, before I go, I got a little surprise for you, OK? Yeah, you know how I kitchen. do. You thought we were going to come in here and just cook I and did. just go home? I did. No, it's a show, OK? Look here. So I got two tents here. And in both tins is a little twist. Okay. And you get to choose. One twist is terrible. Okay. The other one is worse. So you decide which poison you like to take. Oh, Lord. OK. I'm going to go with this one. Terrible idea. OK, <laughs> let's go. Let's see what twist we have for you today. Now, Kiana, it seems like your entire family is betting against you. Let's mix it up. I'm offering you the option of incorporating one of these three fancy cheeses. I yeah. hope it ain't no stinky Ooh, cheese. Not do no break. If you choose to reject my sumptuous cheese tray, I'm gonna take 10 minutes off your cooking time. Girl. Reject it. I ain't gonna lie, forget it. Don't add not another lick of cheese. You either add one of these cheeses into <laughs> your mother's signature mac and cheese that okay. you said the cheeses should never change. Okay. Or I take 10 minutes away. This is gonna make it real Caucasian. So first up, Gruyere over here, right? Take a little sample while I read. Gruyere's a, I don't think she likes the Gruyere, y'all. What's that, French? Yeah, that's not it. <laughs> no, no, no we we in here. I don't wanna, you know, get it out of my mouth. Oh my, my. okay, but, well, let me read the next one. Yeah. Maybe Fontina's better. <laughs> here we go. 
It can be used in any recipe where a smooth, melty cheese is desired, like fondue, cheese dip, or cheese sauces. That's hitting a little better for you. It is better. Okay, so you're a fondue girl. Yes. All right, cool. That might be the That's one. Better. Now, Brie, the last one. It has a creamy and soft texture and bakes well. So it's no surprise that it's a fantastic melting cheese. Mmm. Oh, wow. oh, oh, we have impasse. I like it. So it's Brie versus Fontina. Yeah. Okay. Fontina right now is winning. Okay. Brie is cute. Okay. I do like the presentation. Um, well, I'm not gonna see this presentation in the mac and cheese. Uh oh, wait, what happened there? It's the same cheese. Mm -hmm. What did this? <laughs> Nothing happened. What, what, what happened? I think just as I'm chewing it more, Brie is. Mm -mm. I ain't never seen nobody change their mind that fast in my life. It was the same bite. I think I had some Fontina still in my mouth. Brie is not Girl, here. take this Fontina okay. and go on about your business. Fontina is good. Take the cheese. You got to cut it up. Mm -hmm. I, my job is done. You not going to help me cut it? Uh, heck no. <laughs> I have to go. I have to go check on your family. Since you chose to take my sumptuous cheese, yes. you have 60 minutes remaining on the clock. Okay. All right? Ready, okay. set, cheese. Thank you. All right, so I guess we're going to shred this Fontina. Ooh, she about to say, come Let me on. let the whole mm. world know. See what she doing right now mm. is what Kiana does. That's what she Eat. do. That's what she do. <laughs> Get right. it. So now I'm going to make a cream mixture. I'm going to put in about a cup of milk, two tablespoons of sour cream. You know what makes it a little more interesting? I haven't had mom's macaroni in a long time. Yeah. So it's like, this is going to be real unbiased. Exactly. You know, which one really tastes better? And this is like the cream solution that's going to make everything creamy mix in with the cheese. Then I'm going to crack in an egg. And the egg is what's going to help kind of make everything like a casserole and just keep everything together. Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to go ahead and pour this into the noodles. Girl, they have, they doing a whole bunch for this macaroni and cheese. She got 10 cheeses, two milks, an egg, butter. She got 10 cheeses, two milks, an egg, butter. It's very important that your food is seasoned. So as you guys seen, I used the chicken bouillon for the noodles, which the noodles already are gonna have flavor on it. And then next, I'm just gonna add in the signature um, seasonings that really I use in every meal. I think I am more of a garlic person than my mom. Um, she traditionally uses garlic, but I think I kind of go a little overboard with it. I would say this is about the same amount of seasoning that my mom uses. <clears throat> Typically, we just eyeball it and then we taste as we go. So next, I'm gonna add in the cheese and mix it into the noodle mix. And then we're gonna go ahead and save some and then start plating it into the glass pan. This is definitely the cheesiest macaroni and cheese for sure. I would have had a glove on my hand, would have been all in there turning that noodle and doing all of that. I'm like, I ain't got time for this. Get, get out of the way. Move. And that is so funny because Kiana <laughs> talks about that all the time. She's like, my mama get that glove and she put that hand in there, potato salad, you can macaroni. Feel it. You feel when the consistency is, consistency is right. I think the Fontina is going to mix in well. Um, I'm hoping it's not going to overpower the other cheeses. I'm going to start layering the cheese into the glass pan. And macaroni and cheese is such a staple in like the black community. Honestly, this is the dish of all dishes. Like this is something that you just don't want to mess up. So hoping that I did good. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. How you doing? I think I'm doing pretty good. I see a lot of cheese. Yes. I think we used about six different cheeses today. Ooh. Yes. Okay. So I see, I do see what it, I see. Is that a chunk of cheese right there? Yes. Right so there? this is going to be the creamy cheddar cheese, and okay. once we put it into the oven, it's going to melt down and bring all the cheeses together. So and I also noticed that you you don't have like breadcrumbs on top or anything yes. like that. Yes. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put this in with no foil or anything. Okay. And it's going to create its own natural crust on Ooh. top, and the bottom is going to be really creamy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. So speaking of the oven, you only have 40 minutes, and I. I know oh it takes 45 yes. minutes to bake this off. Yes. So we okay. gotta get yes. cracking. So we're gonna wanna get this in okay. because we wanna make sure all the cheeses melt properly. Yes. Don't want any, you know, big chunks of cheese no, left over or anything. We do not want that. So. You know, secretly, I want you to win. 
Thank you. So I'm going to go ahead and leave <laughs> okay. so I'm no longer disturbing you. Okay. All right. All right. You. Let's get when back in back, the oven like now. Now. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, quickly coat the top of this macaroni and cheese with the remainder of the shredded cheese just to make sure everything is covered. And then we're gonna go ahead and plop this into the oven for 45 minutes. Definitely wanna make sure we hurry up and get this in, because I don't want this not to end up being creamy. She this left was, that creamy I don't, out. But you know what? Smart. That was a lot of work. She did a lot. And she did her, do a lot. She for her. Okay, hopefully that's enough time. Well, you know, this doesn't really feel like a time constraint. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You want you want to count it down? Yeah, it's just been bacon. Let's just get yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah. All right. Three, Three two, two, one. Get that thing out the oven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute now. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. <gasps> I don't mean to sound cheesy. <laughs> Well, that ah. looks very good. It <laughs> looks good. I bet you this is gonna have a nice cheese pull. Yeah. Yes. It, it has to. All those cheeses we use, I'm pretty sure. My <laughs> mouth is like watering. I think it's time to yeah. start judging. Don't I you? would love to get into it. Now, don't forget, we're going to try your mac and cheese as well as Mama's mac and mm -hmm. cheese. All right. It's a competition. Yes, it is. All right. Let's get to the judging. This is mom's macaroni and cheese, mom's, right? I okay. mean, the presentation is just amazing. I really am enjoying. This looks like down south southern home cooking. It does. Let's go. Okay, mom. So now we're tasting mom's. Lord have mercy. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yours is good. Hold up now. Hmm. Oh. It's just one know? layer after the next. It is really good. This is a layered situation. You know what I love about it? It's really nice and creamy. Also, there's a nice crunch to it from mm -hmm. the um, the cheese on top. Yeah. You get a really nice crunch. Good it need more cheese for me. Mm-hmm, yes, sir. <laughs> it need more cheese for me, but this is good. These noodles are seasoned for the gods. They are. We're These noodles are amazing. It's, it's 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 definitely good. It's, it's mom. I love well, it. I'm mom. telling you, which one day gone and next? I'm <laughs> telling you. It is really good. This is a layered situation. It's definitely good. Kiana's is next. Let's try Kiana's. But y'all get too hard on my macaroni and cheese. All right, so we have Kiana's in front of us right now, and I'm gonna have to say first impression. Already, this is bomb.com. Yeah, it looks like almost like it could be a pizza. Well, yeah, and it looks, way. it actually yeah. looks very like professional. Like yeah. a chef did this. Kiana! Let me out! Okay, ready? It's a little lighter than how I usually like it. I usually like more of a yellow cheese on the top. Um, it looks like it's very cheesy. I see this, you see that creamy cheddar on the side here? Mmm. It's coming out. Mm. Oh, wow. I gotta check mine for leakage. You can hear the crust. Ooh. Yo. Mm. Oh. Mm. Uh oh. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, Houston, we have a problem. We do. Wait a minute. You know what? This tastes very different. It's nothing like the first one. No, it's not. This is a different experience. It is, and you know what? I, it it's has like, like a deeper flavor to it, if that makes any sense. And I think it's from the Fontina cheese. Oh, snap. Now, now that's some good macaroni and cheese. Kiana, mommy is very proud of you. I'm about to stick with mine. Just because of the seasoning part. Just because of the seasoning on the noodles. And I do think that Fontaine added something. Fontina? Whatever the thing is called, Fontaine, Fontina, it did add yeah, something to it. she's a nice girl. She's a, she's a nice, nice girl. girl. She did help Kiana out. So, um, we gonna see. I love that I can see the seasonings. You see all the Ooh. pepper and all this, all the goodness in there? Oh, yeah. You oh, see yeah, that? yeah, I do. I love seeing it. It's all, like, together. Yeah. As opposed to 
The other mac and cheese, it was like more, you see the macaroni is like more individualized. Does that make any sense? This one is more, I think that belongs to Fontina. Fontina is responsible for keeping the whole thing together. together. And it like changed the dynamic of what you think a traditional mac and cheese would taste like. It kind of threw yes. me off. Oh yeah. I was like, oh, surprise. I don't know about this. And then yeah. I let it settle in my spirit. And I said, I like this. It you. had to settle. Well, let's see what your spirit says. Which one is the better mac and cheese? This is gonna be tough. Mama? Yeah. Or Kiana? Oof. Mm. We'll find out. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Hey, Jane, all right. <gasps> Let me remind you though, okay? There's a couple of votes happening here. Tia and I have a vote. Okay. Eli and DJ had a vote. Yes. And in the event of a tie, guess who's breaking it? Mama! Okay? So in that box, we will find out who's mac and cheese reigns supreme. It is... Oh my God! Kiana! Yeah. Fontina, 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 did you right? All right, did your thing. Now I'm gonna jump in here and say this real quick. Mom? I love the traditional aspect yes. of your mac and cheese. Yes. It reminded me of home. I want it on my Thanksgiving plate. Yes. It's just that this one had a little bit of kick you to know, it. I ain't mad at it. You know what I'm saying? I'm so proud of you. I am very proud. Aww. Because um, if you knew my daughter, that was a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't even know. So to Aww. see her go that far, you deserve it. Yeah. You deserve it. Yes, Thank you. you. Congratulations. Well, that was congratulations. amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here. I mean, both yeah. of, you know, the mac and cheese was fantastic. Thank you guys so much for watching Not Like Mama, and we hope to see you next time. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> you did the culture proud. Yes, you did. Thank you. I have always thought Kiana can make that macaroni and cheese in the best way possible. I'm just I'm very shocked. I am very shocked. Definitely scared about the ride home, though. Right. <laughs> now we got to go back in the car with your mom. We just got done talking all that stuff. <laughs> she about to get her. Talk about it ain't cheesy. She's about to get her. I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that part. I love you, mom.